What's going on my Big Bang family? It's your boy Big Bang Joe and you know I'm back at it again with some good information. So today we're going to be talking about the Citizens Bank business line of credit. But before we get started, if you're new here, make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know that you're new here. And then make sure you smash that like button because we want to get this information out to the masses. But if you've been here before, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and turn your notification bells on because you know I'm going to be dropping videos every single day. And with that being said, you know I don't like my time being wasted, so I'm not here to waste yours. So let's get right to it. All right, we got the Citizens Bank business line of credit. But I want to let y'all know what a line of credit is before we do get into the citizens bank line of credit because some people get what a loan is versus what a line of credit is confused all right so a line of credit is basically a revolving line of credit right a loan they just give you a certain amount let's say you get a fifty thousand dollar loan they'll deposit fifty thousand into your account and then you'll have to start paying making payments on that immediately with the line of credit let's say you have a fifty thousand dollar line of credit you are able to draw whatever amount you want from that 50,000 and you only have to pay back what you draw and you only have to pay interest on what you draw. And once you pay it back, since it's revolving, it replenishes. So if you take out 10,000 out of 50,000 and pay 10,000 back, you can use that 10,000 again. So in my opinion, lines of credit are better than loans. That's just in my personal opinion. And also I prefer a line of credit over a credit card because with the credit card, you have to liquidate your credit cards. And we already know we have to do different things to liquidate your credit card. And you know, sometimes it involves a fee. Sometimes you can do it without a fee, but you still have to jump through hoops to even liquidate your credit card. And this comes already ready to be liquidated, right? So it might take a little more to get a business line of credit. All right, so let's talk about this line of credit. So with citizens, they're gonna soft pull you for this business line of credit. They're not gonna hard pull you. They're gonna soft pull your personal Equifax and also your business Equifax. So let's talk about what you need to qualify for this line of credit. You're gonna need at least a 680 credit score. They pull from Equifax, so you need to make sure your Equifax FICO is a 680, right? Uh, you don't wanna go into this thinking, hey, uh, I can have bad credit and get this line of credit. You're not gonna be able to have bad credit. You wanna make sure your credit is up to par, no collections, no charge-offs, no late payments, and you have above a 680, right? And then you wanna also make sure you have established business credit with Equifax business, all right? So my issue when I first was applying for this is I didn't have an Equifax business credit score. And every time I would apply and it would say, your business cannot be verified. I, I would get a letter always saying, your business cannot be verified. And I would always wonder, why is my business not being uh, verified? But it was because I had a Paydex score and I had an Experian business credit score, but I didn't have an Equifax business credit score. And that's what was stopping me from getting this line of credit. So you wanna make sure that you establish or you have an established Equifax business credit score, right? And another thing about them, they do ask for financials, but they ask for bank statements, all right? They ask for three months bank statements so you can verify your income, right? And in another video I had, I also talked about being able to have bank statements and showing you guys how to get your bank statements the right way, right? And it's, it's a, you know, it's a different way, but it allows you to access this type of funding even if you not getting the income that you want, you know, so it enables you to jumpstart your business. So I have a way of doing that. You have to book a consultation and I will put you on game. But this is how you would get this business line of credit. And as you can see, it says get a business loan or line of credit up to 250000 in two to three days. All right. So this is how you apply for it. Get the lending you want for your small business at the speed you need. Our goal is to make borrowing fast, easy, and convenient so that you can spend more time running your business. Let's move me right quick. What to expect? Experience the speed and simplicity of our Citizens Vantage Link online application with our express lending process. You can get a fast decision and funding on your loan or line of credit within two to three business days. Choose from business credit cards up to $25,000 or a loan or line of credit up to $250,000, right? And it says information you to have handy before you begin. You need your legal business name, your business tax ID, your annual sales, and your annual net profit. So you want to make sure you have all that before you continue, okay? All right, so let's go to get started. All right, as you see here, you can choose from business credit card, 
line of credit loan or loan or loan to purchase equipment all right we're gonna go to line of credit because that's what we want right this is what this video is about so at the beginning of your application is gonna ask you for your first name last name email address legal business name when did your business begin the zip code of your business your annual sales your annual profit before tax the business industry and what you're applying for right if, if you're already a citizens bank customer another way that i um usually tell people so so you have a higher chance of getting these lines of credit is establishing a relationship so if you're not with citizens bank you can establish a relationship with citizens bank and you might they might be more lenient on you providing financials so if you have deposits going in if you have a high bank rating i made a video about bank ratings having at least a low five is, is basically having a minimum 10k in your bank account and maximum 40k in your bank account for at least 90 days right and i told you guys exactly how you can do that so that can boost your chances of also getting this line of credit so you might want to consider becoming a member of citizens bank so that you can build a relationship with them you don't necessarily need a relationship with them but i suggest you uh, become a member so that you can have a higher chance of getting this line of credit so i don't want to make this video too long if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like button make sure you comment and make sure you hit that subscribe button because i will be dropping every single day and you want to make sure those notification bells are turned on if you have this business line of credit let me know down in the comments let me know how you like it let me know how much you got approved for it. if you don't have this and you're looking to apply for it when you go apply for it hey come back to the comments and say hey big man joe you just put me on and I got a business line of credit for a hundred thousand. I got a business line of credit for fifty thousand. Whatever it is, come back and leave a comment and let me know because we like to celebrate our wins together. But again, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for the next one. And as y'all always know, the top ain't going nowhere. You just gotta get there. Let's get it. How to go and get it? Steady grinding just behind the scene. I've been on a mission. Gotta touch him by any means. Till we go high five.